Welcome into AZ Audibles. Haley Stasiak, Jordan Hamm, and Eric Sorensen here on the rooftop deck previewing the semifinals that will get started this weekend. Friday's action will see 6A through 4A, and then Saturday's action 3A and 2A all at neutral sites. Let's start out with 6A with Red Mountain against Chandler. The, this was a week zero matchup. Chandler won 42 to 14 over Red Mountain. This Red Mountain team didn't have Lance Lawson in that matchup, and actually Jarrett Caldwell was the real thorn in the Mountain Lions defense's side. 177 receiving yards for the tight end wide receiver hybrid, so that's a matchup to watch. But Mount, uh, the Mountain Lions have really stepped their game up over the past couple of weeks. Ty McElroy is a running back I really like. He's a sophomore, actually has more rushing yards than Lawson, uh, but there are plenty of really good rushers on this team, but you can never sleep on that Chandler offense um, and, and the defense for that matter. It's on the other side of the 6A bracket, Perry against Mountain Point. With this game, you've got one of the state's best offenses against one of the state's best defenses. Perry put up 72 points on Hamilton last week. The final there was 72 to 14, and then Mountain Point beat Highland 44 to seven. You've got two quarterbacks that can pass the ball and run the ball in Brock Purdy and Nick Wallerstead. But the Pride's defense, as I mentioned, could be what ultimately brings down this Puma offense. Not to mention Perry's defense has to step up to stop Mountain Point's run game in Gary Bragg and Jakeem McKinney. Moving into the 5A action, we've got Liberty against Centennial. Yeah, these two teams really need no introduction. West Valley powers have been playing each other, playing some really close games for a long time. I think the phrase instant classic is often overused in football, but it can't be overused when talking about what happened last month between these two teams. Liberty comes back in the closing seconds, wins the game, knocks Centennial from the ranks of the undefeated, expect another really good game this week. And one storyline that I think is going to be really important is Centennial is going to run the football. They run it all the time. Everybody knows about Zidane Thomas. Can Liberty's defense put the Coyotes behind the sticks and make Ruben Beltran beat them through the air? Also, it'll be great watching the matchup between Liberty receiver slash running back Dylan Bieber, who had a huge game Friday night against Ironwood Ridge, go up against Washington commit Dom Hampton, one of the best players in the state. And on the other side of that 5A bracket, we've got Notre Dame Prep Sienega. Notre Dame escapes a crazy game against Queen Creek in overtime, and this is just such a deep team. I finally got to see Jake Smith in person. Those offers are definitely validated that he's picking up left and right. He is one of the best playmakers in the entire state. And then you have Cole Fisher uh, in that backfield. It seems like we talk about that duo quite a bit, but it's just such a senior group. Uh, they're fired up because last year they weren't able to go to the playoffs because of those sanctions, uh, but they're they're definitely driven and have a very experienced group. On the other side, Sienega Jamari Joyner is playing uh, like a man on fire right now, just whether it's through the air or on the ground, he's picking up yards left and right. Sienega, I think, is coming into this game with a different approach. Last year, Centennial was able to come down, beat them up in the semifinal. They know what it's going to take to try to get to that state championship game. They just had a tough game against Marana and were able to ex escape, so I don't think they're overlooking the Saints at all. And you mentioned the Saints offense, and definitely they are a powerful, powerful unit. But the Saints defense has also been getting the job done. They deserve a little bit of love. 33 sacks and 26 forced turnovers in 12 games. It will be interesting to see how they try to stop Jamari Joyner. Here's what a couple of 5A coaches had to say about the semis. Last year, you know, really we found out a lot about ourselves. And the one thing we talked about is what's nice this year is we have control. Right? We didn't have control because of extenuating circumstances, uh, but tonight we, we held our own fate and destiny and I said, you know, that's, that's the way you want it. We have, it's, it's on us. Liberty is an outstanding team. Uh, they won the last time that we played a couple weeks ago. We, we hope to be able to correct our mistakes. Our, our team has progressed uh, along every week. You know, and I think the most important thing is that we've stayed together uh, through good times and bad. Everyone believes in team, teammate, self, and we believe that is going to be important to us moving forward. Later in the show, we will preview 4A through 2A. Keep it right here. Welcome back into AZ Audibles. Haley Stasiak, Jordan Hamm, and Eric Sorensen here. Earlier in the show, we previewed 6A and 5A semifinals. Now we are going to look at 4A through 2A. We'll start off in 4A with South Point Catholic Sunrise Mountain. The Lancers' best defensive player is linebacker Chris Aguirre. He has 126 total tackles on the season. He's going to be spying, for lack of a better term, on Keegan Freed, Sunrise Mountain's versatile quarterback who can beat you with his arm as well as his legs. 
then you flip the script to when Sal Point has the ball, Bijan Robinson has carried the Lancer offense on his back. He'll be watched closely by 6'2", 225-pound linebacker Gavin Chaddock, who is a heat-seeking missile, one of the leaders on the Mustangs defense. Also, one other storyline is how will Steve Decker match wits against Dennis Benet. Benet already has one state championship at Sal Point. Always interesting to see how the coaches go back and forth, especially with in-game strategies. Next up, Higley Saguaro. Now, Higley's only loss came against Saguaro earlier in September. That was a 42 to 14 loss for Higley. Saguaro's balanced on both sides of the ball. Max Massingale at the helm for the Sabercats with reliable targets is going to be key for Saguaro. And then Higley's run team, they're going to have to outsmart a solid Saguaro defense. Spencer Brash is a guy that at his when he's at his best, he's spreading the ball to the multiple targets that Higley has, but he's also able to run and uh, be a nice little counteract to Drayson Hall. Hall. So they're really going to have to have the run game going early to make sure that they're controlling the tempo. Into 3A now, Castile American Leadership. The two versus three, it's going to be just, I think, a great matchup. American Leadership Academy, one of the more battle tested teams in 3A. They've beaten, or they've played the number one, four, five, six, and eight seeds in this tournament. They went four and one and outscored opponents 185 to 84. That only loss was to push Ridge to the number one seed, and that was a 24 to 14 loss. On the other side, Castile is having just an awesome year. At as the three seed, outscoring opponents 664 to 77, wow. undefeated record, just has have been dominant really from the get go. Uh, only a close game against Yuma Catholic, that was a seven point game that they were able to uh, grind out. Florence uh, kept it close for the most part in this last round, but Castile was able to pull it out. I'm expecting a great game between the two and the three seed. Other side of 3A, we've got Benjamin Franklin against Push Ridge. Really two of the hottest teams in the state. Benjamin Franklin hasn't lost since week one, and as you mentioned, Jordan, Push Ridge comes into this game undefeated. These are two teams that just absolutely love to run the ball. Both teams average over 300 yards a game on the ground, but Push Ridge senior quarterback Christian Festus has the ability to beat teams through the air. He's thrown 15 touchdowns in just 75 pass attempts. We'll wrap things up in 2A. We've got Santa Cruz Valley against Round Valley. Round Valley is looking to extend their undefeated season. They beat Morenci last week to get here to the semis. And then on the other side, Santa Cruz Valley is also looking to take down number one and extend their own undefeated season. Santa Cruz Valley does have a solid run game, so that is something to keep an eye on. On the other side of 2A, we've got Thatcher against Phoenix Christian. Yeah, this is a rematch of the 2016 quarterfinal game won by Thatcher. This Phoenix Christian team is a different animal. They've defeated every single one of their opponents this year by at least 21 points. Their senior quarterback, Hunter Cole, has been unstoppable. 29 touchdowns, just one interception, plus six more scores on the ground. On the other side, Thatcher will definitely try to keep Cole and the Eagles offense off the field. Thatcher has rushed for nearly 3,000 yards and 42 touchdowns as a team. That Eagles defense has been stellar, 26 sacks and 25 turnovers forced. 1A crowned a champion last week. Williams beat Superior 57 to 14. Congratulations to the Vikings. That's all we've got for you this week on AZ Audibles. Be sure to keep it on Sports360AZ.com for your continued playoff coverage.